Uh, please allow me to be frank and with respect to many wonderful people around this room here. I'm going to speak in general terms. So nobody please take personal offense. Uh, I wish to start really from where uh, President Obasanjo ended. Let us start by looking at, at the age issue. You, you politely bought it and said, I like to see a critical mass. You see, I've been president for a long time. That's why I'm always careful with your words. Uh, now, this continent is continent of young people. Half of our people here are below 20 years old. Yes? Look at the average age of our presidents. It's about 63, 64 years old. We have we are the only country in the continent in the world where we have presidents at 90 years old starting new terms. <laughs> I mean, you guys are crazy or what? <laughs> We've seen people in wheelchairs, you know, unable to raise hands to standing for elections. This is a joke. Yes, you are right to laugh because the whole world is laughing at us. You know, I, I, I always say, I mean, you look around you. you. You look, United States, an economy of 15, 16 trillion dollars. We, all of Africa, are less than one trillion dollar. This is a 15, 16 trillion dollar economy, right? the most important country in the world, like it or not. Obama, who happened to be half African anyway, become president when he's 46, 47 years old, he's president. If, if Obama was in Kenya, what he would be doing now? He would be driving a bus maybe. <laughs> yeah? You look, really, and, and he's not the youngest president. Clinton was younger than him. Clinton became president at 46 years old. Kennedy was 40 years old, 40 odd subject years old, and he became president. Why these big countries, much bigger than us, entrust their economies, their nuclear weapons, their oil resources to people who are in their 40s? And we only pick up people at 90 years old to lead us. To lead us where? To the grave? <laughs> 